club foot. What is it and how common is it? Jessica, what is it? What is club foot? Uh, club foot, as you can see in this picture, is basically the turning of the foot. Mm -hmm. And this happens in utero. Uh, and basically it's a tightening of some of the muscles and it pulls the foot up. And you are born with this, obviously. Yes. Okay. Um, and does it affect one foot or both feet usually? How, how does it work? About half of the time it would affect both feet. So half the time it's one, half the time it's both. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the risk factors of this deformity. Um, the first one is family history, of course. It's pretty <laughs> obvious. Um, so what are some of the other risks? So. This again is one of those packaging issues mm -hmm. uh, in the uterus, the position of the baby, uh, multiple births again matches with that position of the baby. There's a little less space in there for a baby. Uh, family history though is the most common cause. Uh, if there's one child in the family, that second child is more likely to have a club foot. Oh. Uh, the, uh, that less amniotic fluid surrounding the baby, that again is a packaging issue. If there's less fluid, it's a little tighter. Uh, and then again, we have those nervous system disorders. So there are some disorders that come from the brain that cause tightening of those muscles and tendons uh, that would put the baby at risk of having both club feet as well as contractures in other body parts like so the wrist. Let me, ask, let me ask you a question. It's, um, does the size of the mom play into this? Like if you're kind of a, a bigger, <laughs> hardier woman with bigger hips, are you more likely to have a baby without those issues as opposed to if you are a teeny with t teeny hips or does the stomach just do what it needs to do? For the most part, Mother Nature takes care okay. of that. And okay. There, I don't know of any studies that have shown anything about okay. mom's habitus. Okay. No